What's up gamers? Gamer Dad here. This is a guide to help you complete the Fort Nightmares Horde Rush quest. Eliminate Cube Assassins. If you haven't subscribed or used my creator code yet, please do so. I greatly appreciate your support. So what is a Cube Assassin? Well, it's kind of like a pre-boss or a mini-boss. It's not the big boss that's at the end of Horde Rush, but there is a boss per se in the middle, and it definitely takes a little bit of a fight to eliminate the Cube Assassin. You have to be careful. They've got a weapon. And so... You're going to start up your game, right? You get prepared, and then you've got to survive a round. And you'll get to the point where you've completed round one. So that's great, but now it's on to round two. So remember, you will not see a cube assassin until round two, and there's only one of them in a whole entire match. So you'll have to play two full-on matches to get two cube assassins killed. Now, after the round two begins, right here, this is when... You've got time to prepare for the battle, and then the cube assassin should appear. Now, one way you'll know there's a cube assassin is they've got like this crazy chain gun where they just unload. You can hear the sound of the chain gun. That's how you even know the cube assassin's around. But you'll see the cube assassin, and they've got a power meter, which is also going to make it obvious that that's the cube assassin. It's not like a normal monster. It looks like a person all dressed up in some special gear kind of thing. So there is the cube assassin. They have the red exclamation mark. And as you can see, they're unloading with that chain style gun. And so the good thing is, if you're doing this solo, much harder. The assassin's after you. But do this in squads. And look, the assassin barely ever even hits me. And I can just do some severe damage up close and personal. Here I will be the one. Me and this player will take this person out. But there we go. Boss defeated. And again, so once you do that once, you'll finish up this match. You can go and take down the main Horde Rush boss. And then you'll have to start up another match. Go through it all. Get to that round two. And once you've defeated the Cube Assassin once, you're going to have a gist of how to do this. You'll have an idea of it. But look what I do here. If you wind up in a area where you can shoot down from the rooftop, definitely advantageous. Especially if other players on your team are already down there. They are going to attract the attention of this Cube Assassin, which kind of makes it easier for you to lay into them with your damage. So whatever weapon you're good with, do note the Cube Assassin will take a bit of damage, and when they do, she'll teleport. And they actually teleport away to another place, so just don't get lost. Just watch for them, you can hear for that gun, and like I say, use the high ground to your advantage. It definitely gives you a big advantage against monsters, the Cube Assassin, whatever it is. High ground is where it's at. So just stay at this boss. Once you've eliminated them for a second time in a second match, your challenge is complete and it's on to the next. Hope that the guide is helpful. Please drop a like, leave me a comment, and if you haven't subscribed or used that creator code yet, please do so. I truly appreciate your support. Good luck with this one. Until the next video, this is GamerDad out.